You know, as a rather short person myself, I can tell you that bigger is not always better. That is why I always had some kind of emotional connection to smaller motherboards, such as the B650M Aorus Elite, which, surprise surprise, is just the shrunk down version of the B650 Aorus Elite, which I already covered on this channel. So what exactly do you sacrifice by going MATX, and what kind of benefits will this motherboard have for you? Well, I was starting off with CPU power, here we have a 12 plus 1 plus 1 power phase arrangement, rated at a maximum of 60 amps. So while definitely a step down compared to the power phases on the full-fledged Eros Elite, and combined with the fact that this motherboard has one rather than two full 8 pins, uh, it does mean that you're going to be getting a lot less power to your CPU, but at the end of the day, the difference is so small and the power delivery is still solid enough that, honestly, you won't notice the difference. In fact, you're going to have to be a pretty heavy overclock on something like a 7950X to even notice that the power delivery on here is so much worse. So I wouldn't worry about the VRM situation at all if I were you. So what about the PC expansion? Wow, well, here, it's a MATX board. You really can't expect much. You have a primary PC Gen 4 16X slot and another physical 16X with electrical 4X slot below that. And yes, I know that I complain about Gigabyte Mover boards not having 1X slots in like every single video now, but this is an MATX board, so I guess, you know, I can't really fault them for that now here, so, uh, touche Gigabyte, you got me there. And speaking of PC expansion, you also have two M.2 slots with one running at PC Gen 5 and one Gen 4. And for additional storage you have, like with all current gen Gigabyte motherboards, four set of connectors. Which is yet another thing where Gigabyte literally looked at a competition and went, you know what? Let's be worse, let's have less set of connectors on the motherboards. In fact, there's even MATX motherboards that have all six set of connectors, but like, whatever. I highly doubt that many people need more than four set of connectors nowadays anyway. So that combined with the two M.2 slots does mean that you might actually run out of storage options. In that case, why not just connect some external SSDs? Or 11 of them. Gigabyte's over-the-top approach to USB Type-A is still here, with 11 USB Type-A ports in total at the back, with four of them being Gen 2. So the exact same setup as on the ATX Elite. In fact, most of the rear I.O. is exactly the same. A fast 10 gigabit per second USB Type-C port, both integrated DisplayPort and a GMI, 2.5 gig Ethernet and Wi-Fi 6C, they're all here. And what's also here is yet another one of Gigabyte's cardinal sins, that being the lackluster audio options, with once again only three audio jacks, but wait a second, that's actually optical spidiff. Something that you don't even have on the ATX variant, where you just have a third 3.5mm audio jack. So uh, that's cool at least. I mean, I'd rather just have, you know, the full 5 audio jacks plus optical spitter thing, which we've been doing for like over a decade now, but hey, it's still something. Anyway, if you fell in love with this board, then it's all yours for just $200, making it quite a bit cheaper than the full-fledged ATX motherboard. And for that price, it actually could make a lot of sense for a lot of people, not just the ones who need an MATX board because their case wouldn't take anything bigger. For people who just want a super budget AM5 motherboard, this is actually pretty decent, especially seeing how if you need that kind of budget product, well, odds are you don't need more than two PCIe slots, two M.2 slots, four set of connectors, etc. So, in that case, this could be a pretty good purchase. Though it is not without competition, and there are other sub $200 MATX boards, but that can wait for its own video. I mean, at least you have some good options to choose from here, unlike in the midterms which are happening today. So if you want to buy this mobile board yourself, then make sure to use our Amazon links down in the video description below. And if you want to make you feel better about the fact that you have to tell Gigabyte off in every single video, then make sure to check out our Patreon as well, because even one single dollar month truly goes a long way, while you get awesome perks as well. I'd also like to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, LKB, Justin Rage, Elevroniak, Barlash Volker, Max Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lansby, and Jesse Herdman. Thank you guys so, so much for support to truly goes a long way. Then you're just going to find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's not it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in the video I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.